morning, everybody. It's uh, presently, as I'm recording this uh, playthrough of stuff, it's presently 1.40 a.m. September 25th. And um, uh, we're going to be playing a little bit of a Sega Genesis flashback. Uh, what may very well be the final Sega Genesis clone emulator box from uh, At Games. Uh, for those of you who haven't heard of Muse, uh, the Sega Sega earlier this year announced a Sega Mega Drive Mini thing. You know, similar in vain to the NES Classic Edition, the Super NES Classic Edition, and the upcoming PlayStation Classic from Sony. That's due out in uh, December. And uh, it was a bit of a shitstorm because At Games jumped the gun and announced that they were working on that Mega Drive Mini. And then... Uh, you know, people were too happy about that. But then Sega, just uh, some time ago, announced that uh, they were going to delay the hardware to 2019 because they're going to bring in like an internal group or something like that. And apparently um, the gist of it is that uh, At Games is out of work as far as uh, producing Sega Genesis clone things. Now, a lot of this is like hearsay and, and all that, but uh, if it is to be believed and uh, Ad Games is out of work, well, uh, I hate to say it, but it's a, a long time coming. I'm trying to figure out what I want to play here, but uh, I really don't know. Um, the Golden Axe, Fantasy Star. I got this thing for free, by the way. I don't know if a buddy of mine bought it, wasn't too thrilled with it, gave it to me. I'm like, sure, I'll take it. And, uh, in turn, I gave him a crappy, that Super Game Entertainment System, SNES clone system that I did a quick video on. And shortly after, I gave that to him and told him to have fun. And I don't know what he did with it, but uh, you know, play a bit of, bit of uh, load save. Oh, because I had a uh, saved game here. Well, start a new game. No need to. Uh... Anyway, I was just going to play a bit of Sonic. Because, uh, why not? Nice. So, here's the, uh, the thing with the flashback it sounds better compared to uh, what came before. If you've played older at game Sega clone systems, the sound emulation was always an issue. And uh, at the very least, they, they fixed that. However, uh, when it comes to the frame rate and the overall quality of the, uh, the animation and all that, a bit of a different story, but. Uh, I'm not just <laughs> not trying to play anything. Ah, come on. There we go. I want to see if I could get a hundred rings. Do, 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 do. 
How's that for a one-up sound? <laughs> yeah, well, they still got some kinks to work out, but uh, regardless. Anyways, that's Sonic 1. That's a game we've played like a billion times before, so uh, uh, we'll move on to something else. Back to the menu. Sega games. Um, Astral Warrior. So that's what I like about what the. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I'd have to go back and replay um, I'd have to go back and replay the Master System version because I don't know if uh, Something seems a bit odd with those holes that I'm leaving behind. Yes. You know, I kind of like Astro Warriors. A nice, simple, a, ni a nice, basic. Uh, yeah. It's a nice basic uh, space shooter. It's been a while since I've played this, though. Out of practice, Jesus! <laughs> really out of practice. It's been it's been years since I last touched this. To be honest with you. No, that's one of my, I think one of my earliest videos, if I'm not mistaken. Got the lasers. Once you have lasers, there's pretty much no reason to. Uh, once you have lasers, there's no reason for you to get cocky, because then that'll happen. Yeah, I definitely want to, anyways. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to give that another shot, though. At least give me... I'm going to give this another shot. Way those, uh... but I definitely have to give the Master System version another shot because this looks a bit. Uh... Yeah. Starting to get the hang of it. Cutting it a little closer. But I think we're okay. That's way too much garbage there, though. 
I have a feeling that's not what the game is supposed to look like. So, uh... Yeah, yeah, you see the garbage blocks are bleeding out to the uh, into space there. That's not supposed to happen. The garbage blocks distracted me. That's how I lost. Pretty much. Mm. But yeah, you see on the side there, in the right corner, you see the uh, the tile sort of bleeding into the uh, into space. It's not supposed to look like that. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm screwed. Yep, yep. Yep. Fun times had by all. So, uh... So, this is the best at games clones thing. Destroy the Zanoni. There's the spread shot. Fuck, 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 fuck. Yeah, I'm going to destroy Zanoni with my pea shooter. Wish me luck, guys. <laughs> Yep, yeah, so uh, not my night. Let's get to something else, I guess. Okay, so we got uh, Alex Kidd. Nobody wants to play Alex Kidd. Alex Kidd in America World? Alex Kidd High Tech World? Alex Kidd Lost Stars? No Alex Kidd and Shinobi World? I wanted to play that one. Uh, should we play a little Mr. Balls later on? Oh, it's just, a, just out of curiosity. Let's just bla blaze through the uh, games here. We got the four Alex Kidd games minus uh, Shinobi World lame alien storm altered beast arrow flash assault city uh, astral warrior uh, baku baku animal bonanza brothers chakan the forever man uh, columns columns three comic stone um by the way, I'm, I, I realize I'm destroying the illusion of this being one-to-one. -one. Uh, <laughs> because in reality, this is being recorded on like a one-second delay. It's like I'm watching it. If I play it on my TV, I'm watching it on a TV. It's it's one-to-one. -one. It's, it's almost perfect. But when you're when it's going on through the recording software, it's uh, a one second delay. So uh, yeah, a lot of the uh, the regular uh, usual suspects for whenever you have those uh, uh, PlayPal or or, or all those uh, clone systems from like ages ago. We'll see. We got Mortal Kombat, Mortal Kombat Two, Mortal Kombat Three, uh, which I guess is a recent thing. 
Shame they don't have Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3, but what are you going to do? Uh, I have two of the portable players. One's a black one, which had the two Street Fighters and Mega Man The Wily Wars. I did a video on that ages ago. And then I picked up another portable player a couple of years later, and those ones had the Mortal Kombats, but the same sound emulation issues. So I was, uh, you know, I was hesitant to pick this up because A, it's a hundred bucks, uh, Canadian, US is probably like, yeah, like about 79, 89 or something like that. I don't know. I don't remember. Don't care. But um, yeah, these are the wonderful games that they include in here. Uh, Joel Magic, I guess. Uh, actually, on second thought, I don't want to play. Uh, I'll play, play uh, Snake. Snake is a nice, straightforward. At Games Holdings. So, uh, I want a nice slow game that I could play while I'm, I'm just sort of rambling on here. Um, but yeah, the at games, yeah, two at game, actually I would say three at game, uh, uh, what's his face, there's handhelds. Two for the Sega Genesis and uh, the most recent Atari Flashback handheld, which uh, no, isn't too bad. That one's not bad, but much like the uh, uh, Genesis uh, the players, you know, the sound emulation's kind of shit. But uh, that's okay. So, uh, so I guess the Mega Drive Mini is not going to have games like Mr. Balls or uh, Snake as part of their uh, shit. So, uh, Mr. Balls, no longer part of the Sega lineup, which is unfortunate. Maybe it, maybe it'll appear on the Virtual Console. If there was a virtual console, there is no virtual console. There's the NES, uh, Nintendo Switch Online NES, Nintendo Entertainment System, Nintendo Famicom, whatever you want to call it. Um, or something, I don't know. <laughs> this is uh, putting me to sleep, actually. That's okay. So, uh, I, I guess now that they got some other group doing the emulation box, uh, maybe the emulation will be better than what they had before? I don't know, maybe. And I, 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 you, I'm going online, I'm trying to look things up, and people have all these different opinions. You know what it should be like, and, and then, like, to me, like for me personally, uh, when it comes to this mini thing, keep it nice and simple. Have a nice little mini thing that's like a nice, you know, looks like a mini Mega Drive or a mini Genesis or whatever, whatever you want to call it. Um, have a few games on there and make sure, like 20 30 games and make sure make sure those 20 30 games are emulated properly so that when you play them they 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 run well they sound well they look well they are exactly as you would remember playing these games on the original hardware you know make sure the emulation for that small pool of games be spot on 
that's all I want. Maybe add a couple save options, maybe add a couple, you know, little extra tidbits like disabling sprite flicker or things like that, but, but just get the emulation fine, just, just solid. I think that's, that's more than enough. Uh, and, and some people might want a cartridge slot. Don't put in a cartridge slot. Just, just give me a good, just give me a nice uh, emulator that works with the uh, the small poor games. Because you know what happens with a uh, when you introduce a cartridge slot. Uh, when you introduce a cartridge slot, oh, shit. When you introduce a cartridge slot. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to give you an example. Actually, you know what? I just thought of this. I just thought of this, you know. And uh, this is probably shown off elsewhere. But... Uh, See if that works. No. Probably shouldn't be doing that. But, uh, yeah, hold on. All right, technical difficulties, I'll be back. see that again. Loading cartridge. Oh, now we're loading the cartridge. Cartridge detected. Always a uh, always a good sign. Exit before calling them out. I have a safe slot? So we have dots. We have garbage. We have lots of garbage. Oh, and by the way, this is a uh, reproduction cart. Relatively new. And uh, that's okay. 
relatively new. I didn't need to clean this at all. I shouldn't have to clean it. And there goes my saves. Fucking hell. Yeah, you know what? I, I, this is the second time. This is the second time I tried playing this on a non Sega Genesis unit. The first time was a Retron 5, wiped out all my saves. So I tried playing a few more, I tried playing uh, the game again. And, uh,. Putting it in here, I have no saves. Again. And it's a brand new fucking cart too. It's not uh, something that's been years old. It's a reproduction cart. I bought it like earlier this year. So... No way the battery is this shit. <sighs> oh well, fuck. Yeah, so, uh... I guess we're gonna stick with the uh, standard definition. Sega Genesis hardware for the time being. Mind you, I if 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 it were a shittier game, you know, I, I wouldn't care. You know, if I lost all my saves, but uh Wily Wars kind of pisses me off in that regard because, you know, I had a compl I had a Everything was cleared at one point. I could play the Wily Tower. And now it's like, fuck, whatever. So I guess I, I got to turn this off and uh, power it up again. Go back, stupid. There we go. Loading cartridge. Castlevania Bloodlines. Frame rates not going to be fantastic. So uh, while that's going on, let's see if I could find the uh, password. Okay, level passwords. Options. A attack, B jump, A season, okay. Alright, so yeah. Blank, blank, blank. And X, okay. Go bit by bit. NT bird, NT. X. Bird, NT. X, X. X. Yippee! Last level. Normally, I, I just start from the first level 
but I'm bringing this up for a particular reason, and and fuck. <laughs> You know, most people would prefer... Ah, shit. Ah, crap. Most people would prefer Eric because of the four-way, I'm more of an old-school whip guy. Anyways. Oh, I really want to take my sweet day. level is a bit disorienting because of the uh doing okay so good news is I was able to survive that that's always fun bad news is this is <laughs> Yeah, yeah. for those of you who don't know what's going on, the level is supposed to be everything is up that upside down, but because it's a shitty emulator, <laughs> you can't see a damn thing. And, and trust, and, and believe me, I used to play this game on an emulator way back. I was Genesis or, or something like that. I don't remember. Like one of those old DOS based emulators and every time you go to this room this is what you'd get. Just the level backdrop, just the level assets, none of the sprites. And you have no freaking clue where you're going, where you are, what you're doing. Somehow I killed something and I just walked off to my doom. And on top of that, you start back here, which is uh, a nice big kick in the balls, but that's okay. That's okay. So, the point I'm trying to make here is if Sega's going to do that, that mini, take your 10, 20, 30 games, make the emulation on that good. Make the emulation on those games good because, uh, let's see if we could. Yeah. See, I'm slowly starting to get my confidence on this scene. There we go. Certainly better than the uh, the first time. So if you had a cartridge slot to your Mega Mini thing, and this is what you get, uh, that's not a good sign. So, I don't know. I'd say just stick with the... Um, do not power off. Saving game state. OK, 
Okay, so we got the uh, save states works on the cartridges. I wasn't too sure on that. I can't see shit. <laughs> I, I, I fucking can't play this. Yeah, forget it. You can't it can't play like this. You simply cannot play like this. Well I tried. What can I tell you? I I, I tried. For additional information on this and other uh our other great retro products, please visit the at games flashback zone at at games .us. sure why not <laughs> okay well uh, this was a bit of a disappointment Bit of flicky. Nice little simple basic arcade uh, type game. Yeah, even the ringing sounds a bit off. These little audio imperfections you kind of notice right off the bat there. Ooh, double kill. It's actually quite quite a bit of fun. Very simplistic, but lots of fun. Oh, Mr. Bird. Ah, shit. Usually a lot better than this, but uh, not my night. Shit. I was hoping for a full chain, but whatever. Aye. Aye. That sounded bad. That sounded really horrible. Wasn't too sure that I missed one. That's okay. That was fine by me. See, in the grand scheme of things, I'd much rather play a game like Flicky than uh, Ice Climber. Oops. Eh, 
Okay, well, that's going to do it for me. Yep, so uh, not a huge play session. I, I, I get, but uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, um, let's play a, uh, yeah, play Sonic Chaos, why not? Oh, but the game gear gives you a nice border. Is it just me or does that sound a bit sped up? I'd have to go back and compare it with the proper... There's a lot of stuff I gotta compare this shit to, but uh, eh. I don't know, we'll see. Do, 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 do. And the one thing that would be nice is if I could, if they had like a, an adapter for the Game Gear that you could play on the TV, rocket shoes. Anyways. Yeah, it definitely sounds a bit sped up. Yeah. Yeah. Sonic, Sonic 2, Sonic and Knuckles. Yeah, hint to Sega. Include Sonic 3. And all its locked on variants. Then you'd have a selling point. But, uh, eh, whatever. Sonic, play Knuckles, play Sonic, play Knuckles, play Sonic. So you don't get Sonic 3, but you get the second half of Sonic 3. Oh well, three, Sonic 3 and a half. That's not very nice. Yeah, some of the sounds sound awful. Oh, I, that's my fault, I guess. Well, the one-up sound sounds better here than it did in... Fuck me. <laughs> what time is it at this point? 2.25? Uh, go back to the bonus stage. Go back to the bonus stage. Uh, fiddlesticks. Running right into that, why don't you? 
You're a genius. Terrible timing. I am not this. This is actually late at night, so I'm half asleep at this point. That. Ooh, rings. Yay. I want to say this is probably the only good part of Sonic 3. Or Sonic and Knuckles. Or Sonic 3 and Knuckles and Knuckles. This amuses me. It amuses me tremendously. I could just play the whole game. Ah. Ah. Hey, whoosh. Come on. Oh, fuck. You noticed it, it stalled for like a second there, right? Now, who knows? Oh, the season's changed. Find the arcade at the invincibility thing. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, that happens way too often. Even when I'm when I am, <laughs> didn't happen that time. Yeah, so, uh, <laughs> no, I'm tired. Fuck it. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I'm done for the night. So you're probably going to be watching this sometime during the day, but, uh, no, I'm done for the night, folks. So, uh. Yeah, sorry if I don't say a whole lot. I tend to not say a whole lot. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that was the Sega Genesis flashback thing. And, uh, you know, the last great at games effort, if uh, all the news is to be believed. And, uh, you know what? Like, I will be honest, it is a step up. It's not great, but it is a step up. And if you wanted, uh, you know, if you're not a stickler for the details, the finer details, the accuracy, that sort of thing, it's a nice little novelty gift. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I, I think after a decade or so, it was time to sort of split the team up, I guess. Uh, especially when you had 
the NES Classic and the SNES Classic uh, really do a fine job of it. Like those are like quality systems, and they didn't have. There's some hiccups with those devices, you know, like the short cord and and, and other other minor bits but you know for the most part those are quality products and the emulation on those things were quality they were good they were excellent uh, whereas you know the at games thing was pretty much more of the same it was an HDMI it was like a HDMI output which you know you could play Mr. Balls in high definition which is always a plus I guess but uh, and, and then there was a cartridge slot but if the quality of the emulation's kind of spotty you know you might as well go for an actual Genesis which might not have built in games but it does have a cartridge slot and the games play per perfectly and it's compatible with virtually all of them and you have you could do cool stuff like uh, Sega CD and Sega 32X and even a power base converter to play Master System games if you want to go that far and uh, I don't know you know, for me, you know, with this Genesis Mini, Mega Drive Mini, whatever they're calling it, just a nice, simple little emulation box with like 20, 30 games and, and make sure those games are like spot on, you know, emulation wise. And then you could have like save states and stuff like that. It's my little minor, minor things. But that's like the main thing is just, just want, I just want a quality emulator box. You know that's fine like that's fine like that i don't need a cartridge slot because like i said you know a cartridge slot you know the only reason that exists is to expose the emulator's flaws as i've demonstrated with the uh, bloodlines and also uh shit <laughs> i don't know we'll we'll, uh, we'll we'll see what happens we'll see we'll see how it goes i guess i suppose i don't know Anyways, uh, I think uh, I think I'm gonna call it a night, and uh, I thank you for sticking with me, even though I've been silent for the most part, and uh, some of the gameplay has been uh, less than stellar, shall we say? Uh, but maybe next time, uh, I want act actually, you know what? I wanted to do that stage nine thing because I uploaded a little clip of uh, stage nine which is uh, somebody made a fan game of that where you get to tour the Enterprise, which uh, I've only played a couple times. And uh, tell you the truth, that small clip that I uploaded uh, was Monday morning, I think. Uh, that was only a small snippet of stuff that I recorded, but I thought that was the only really funny part <laughs> other than uh, other than the part in engineering while I was in main engineering. And I'm just pressing buttons, and there's a warp core breach. I'm gonna actually upload that as a clip, but uh, I wanted to do, uh, yeah, I actually wanted to do stage nine, a nice little extended playthrough of that. But uh, you know, the, I'll set up for this. This isn't too bad, and uh, kind of hoping to do more of these. But we'll see, uh, time permitting, I guess. And uh, yeah. So uh, thanks for watching. Till next time, take care. Let me see if I get some regular stuff uh, up and about, you know, in the coming weeks. Uh, no pickups for this month. Uh, no pickups, pretty much. That's pretty much it. Uh, haven't had the time for it, never really thought of it. And... Uh, yeah, so in lieu of a pickups video, I might do something else instead. I don't know what, but uh, I don't know. Should be fun, or maybe not. In any event, uh, any event, that's uh, that's the show, I guess. So uh, thanks for watching. Till next time, take care. Good night. I'm gonna go to bed now. Later. <laughs>